Life often feels like a battleground. We encounter countless challenges, face unexpected struggles, and sometimes end up feeling isolated or as if we've been abandoned. But what if I told you that, according to the Bible, you are never truly alone in these battles? The Bible suggests that even in your hardest moments, God is actively fighting for you, even if it's not immediately visible. This knowledge can offer a profound sense of comfort, encouragement, and reassurance in times of difficulty. In this video, we'll uncover the signs that may reveal God's intervention in your life with biblical support to help you recognize and trust in His presence and unwavering support. One of the most comforting signs that God is fighting for you is when you feel an unexplainable sense of peace, even amidst chaos. This peace is unique because it doesn't depend on your circumstances. In fact, the Bible refers to this peace as one that surpasses all human understanding. In Philippians 4, 7, it says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When you sense this deep calm and reassurance, especially when it doesn't seem logical, it may be a clear indication that God is surrounding you with His peace and actively working to sustain you. Another powerful indication of God's presence is through unexpected provision in times of need. Provision can take many forms, whether financial help, a timely friend's assistance, or any kind of unexpected support that arrives just when you need it most. The Bible reinforces this idea in Philippians 4, 19, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. If you find that your needs are being met in surprising and timely ways, it's a likely sign that God is actively providing for you and fighting on your behalf, even if you can't always see it directly. Miracles or events that seem beyond human control can be another powerful sign that God is at work in your life. The Bible is filled with miraculous interventions that God performed to rescue His people. For instance, in Exodus 14, 21, 22, God parted the Red Sea to deliver the Israelites from the pursuing Egyptian army. When you encounter sudden, dramatic changes that pull you out of a dangerous or challenging situation, it could be a signal that God is intervening powerfully in your life. These moments of unexpected deliverance might be God's way of showing His active involvement. During times of hardship, you might also experience a remarkable strength within you, a strength you didn't know you possessed. This resilience can be a gift from God, empowering you to endure challenges. The Apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, but he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. If you're going through trials and feel a surge of resilience that seems to come from nowhere, it may well be God's strength flowing through you, equipping you to handle what lies ahead. Another way God demonstrates His presence is through His protection. The Bible offers numerous promises about God's protective nature towards His people. For example, in Psalm 91, 3, 4, it says, Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. When you find yourself escaping potential harm or being kept safe from unseen dangers, it could be a sign of God actively protecting you, surrounding you with His protective care. Finally, when obstacles seem insurmountable, yet you manage to find a way through, it may be a sign that God is clearing a path for you. In Isaiah 45, 2, God promises, I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. If you face barriers that miraculously fall away, or solutions that seem to appear from nowhere, it may be God working in your favor, removing those obstacles and creating a way forward just for you. In life's battles, the presence of these signs can serve as reminders that you are not alone. Each of these signs, from unexplainable peace to divine provision, miraculous events, newfound strength, protective shielding, and open pathways, 
can be indicators of God's hand in your life, guiding, protecting, and fighting for you. Sometimes God fights for us by opening doors that we never expected. In Revelation 3 verse 8, it says, See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. When you find opportunities presenting themselves at just the right time, despite your efforts or plans, it could be a sign that God is creating paths for you and working on your behalf. A shift in how you view your situation can also be a sign that God is fighting for you. The Bible speaks about God giving us wisdom and understanding. In James 1 verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. When you gain a new perspective or insight that helps you cope better with your struggles, it might be God's guidance showing you a new way forward. Receiving encouragement through scripture, sermons, or advice from others can be a sign that God is fighting for you. The Bible often uses others to deliver messages of hope and strength. For instance, in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, it says, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. If you find yourself uplifted by messages or advice that resonate deeply with your current situation, it might be God working through those around you. A sign that God is fighting for you is your spiritual growth through your trials. Romans 5 verse 3 verse 4 tells us, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, character, and character, hope. When you notice that your struggles are leading to greater faith, patience, and hope, it could be a sign that God is using these experiences to strengthen you and fight for your spiritual well-being. Recognizing the signs that God is fighting for you can provide profound comfort and encouragement. Whether it's through an unexpected sense of peace, miraculous deliverance, or new opportunities, the Bible assures us that God is actively involved in our lives. By looking for these signs and reflecting on biblical promises, we can find reassurance that we are not alone in our struggles. Remember, even when things seem tough, God is fighting for you, working behind the scenes to guide, protect, and support you. Each day, we face challenges that can make life feel overwhelming. Even as Christians, we find ourselves in the midst of these battles because the enemy is constantly working to lead us away from the path of life. In these times, especially as we approach the end, his goal is to diminish our love for God, causing it to grow cold. Do you feel overwhelmed by life's struggles, as if you can hardly breathe? Has your family or closest friends let you down? leaving you feeling isolated? Are you questioning if God is still active in your life? I have reassuring news for you. You are not alone. God is with you, fighting alongside you. You might wonder how you can be sure of this. Stay with me as I share seven biblical signs that show God is fighting for you. These signs will help you face life's battles with confidence and hope. Before we dive in, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Understand that God desires to fight for you more than you might realize, and when he does, who can stand against him? While God is loving and patient, he is also known as the mighty warrior. His name is the Lord of hosts. For instance, when the Israelites were trapped by the Egyptian army with their chariots, God parted the Red Sea and the Egyptians were defeated without the Israelites lifting a sword. God doesn't want you to rely solely on your strength because victory isn't guaranteed that way. Instead, he wants you to step back and let him take control. He might not always show up in dramatic ways, but in the end, his support will be evident. The challenge is that we often want tangible signs of his presence. We seek physical proof that he is with us and feel disheartened when we don't see it. Remember, you are not alone in this battle. Others may have left you, but God is always by your side, and the battle won't end until you achieve victory. So what are the signs that God is fighting for you? 1. Divine Protection 
One clear sign that God is fighting for you is experiencing his divine protection. God shields you from various dangers, including accidents, costly mistakes, and financial troubles. He sends his angels to watch over you, even while you sleep. Psalm 91 verse 3 to 4 says, Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness acts as a shield and protection. Whenever danger approaches, he provides a way out, ensuring you are shielded from harm as if you have a special protection against anything that tries to bring you down. God has many ways of warning you about approaching danger. Often, it begins with a feeling, an unexplained sense of unease or discomfort that arises in your spirit. You may feel apprehensive about going to a particular place, joining an event, or spending time with certain individuals. Sometimes, this feeling might even make you second-guess an opportunity that appears promising on the surface. You might receive warnings from others as well, perhaps friends or family members cautioning you about a decision you about a decision you're considering. Even if these warnings don't initially make sense, they could be God's way of protecting you from unseen threats. At times, you may feel a strong prompting to decline a seemingly attractive job offer, cancel plans, or step away from a gathering or event. Initially, these feelings might seem illogical, especially if everything appears normal from the outside. But later, you may realize that these seemingly odd nudges were actually divine protection, shielding you from something harmful. God, in his wisdom, often uses these subtle feelings to guide us out of harm's way, sometimes without us even realizing it until much later. An example of this protective guidance can be found in the Bible with Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus. Joseph received warnings in dreams from an angel instructing him to flee with his family to Egypt. King Herod had ordered the death of all boys under two years old to eliminate any threat to his throne, and this order included the newborn Jesus. Because Joseph heeded the warning, Jesus was kept safe from harm. These warnings may come in different forms, but they are designed to keep us safe. Just as Joseph's family was protected by God's timely intervention, David's life also demonstrates this protective care. King Saul, driven by jealousy, repeatedly tried to kill David. Yet despite Saul's numerous attempts and close encounters, David always managed to escape. This constant protection was God's way of preserving David's life, ensuring that he would fulfill his destiny as king. God's intervention often comes at the perfect moment, just in time to avert danger. His divine protection shows that he is constantly at work, shielding us from harm for a greater purpose. To fully benefit from God's protection, obedience is essential. Imagine if Joseph had ignored the angel's directive to flee to Egypt with Mary and Jesus. Jesus' mission could have been compromised before it even began. Like Joseph, it's crucial to listen to God's guidance and follow the warnings we receive. If God urges you to leave a place, it's wise to leave immediately. If he advises you about what to eat or drink, follow his instruction without delay. When he warns against a business deal, trip, or personal connection, trust that this caution is for your ultimate good, even if the reasons are not immediately clear. Another way that God fights on your behalf is through divine empowerment, giving you strength beyond what you could generate on your own. This empowerment is a supernatural gift that enables you to rise above challenges, accomplish God's purpose for you, and overcome opposition that might otherwise hold you back. When God strengthens you in this way, you may find yourself doing things you didn't think possible, becoming more resilient as you grow through each challenge. Instead of being overwhelmed, you will experience a growth in strength and determination day by day. The Bible speaks to this divine strength in Habakkuk 3, 19, saying, the Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. 
After Jesus' resurrection, he told his disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit's empowerment before they set out to spread the gospel. When they received this empowerment, they were able to preach boldly, even under persecution, performing miracles and bringing countless people to faith. One example is Peter, who had once denied Jesus but later spoke courageously to thousands after being empowered by the Holy Spirit. This divine strength allowed him and the other disciples to withstand challenges and fulfill their calling. When God is fighting for you, you may discover an inner strength and courage you hadn't known before. Although this empowerment might not involve miraculous acts like walking on water, it will equip you to complete the tasks God has set before you with confidence and purpose. If God has called you to a specific mission or purpose, he will provide the grace, resources, and abilities you need to succeed, regardless of the obstacles in your path. Others may doubt your abilities, but God will prove them wrong by equipping you with all you need for victory. In life, God's protection and empowerment reveal His love and commitment to you. His warnings are there to guard you from harm, and His strength enables you to overcome every challenge that comes your way. By listening to His guidance, trusting His protection, and drawing on the strength He provides, you can face your battles with confidence, knowing that God is actively working on your behalf. Sometimes, God may ask you to wait and gather strength for the journey ahead. Others may seem to progress while you wait, but during this time, seek God's presence and ask for His empowerment. When you receive it, you'll make greater progress than those who have gone before you and surpass them in your journey. Remember, those who wait on the Lord will find their strength renewed. Waiting might take time, but in the end, your life will be a testimony of God's support. No one will be able to deny that God is on your side. He will also provide you with clear guidance and direction. You will know exactly what to do and where to go next. With a clear mind and no confusion, you'll receive supernatural wisdom to make wise choices that set you apart from others. You'll have unique insights and hear God's guidance clearly, showing you the right path. When you see these signs, understand that God is working behind the scenes in your life. 3. Another sign that God is fighting for you is clear confirmation from His Word. The Bible tells us that God's Word is a solid assurance for believers. God values His Word even more than His name, and His promises remain unchanged even as the world changes. When God is fighting for you, He will keep reassuring you through His Word. Verses might stand out to you while you read the Bible reflecting your situation. Scriptures may keep coming to mind during your daily life, or you might find that your prayers are answered with relevant Bible verses. At church or while listening to a sermon, it might feel like the message is directly addressing your challenges, giving you confidence in the victory ahead. God's Word is a powerful tool for overcoming life's battles. It is part of the spiritual armor provided to believers for their struggles and is known as the sword of the Spirit. Without God's Word, winning the battle is difficult. When God's promises lead the way, you have nothing to fear. For example, when King Jehoshaphat faced enemies, he sought God's guidance and received this assurance in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 17. God told them, you won't have to fight this battle. Just take your positions, stand firm, and watch the Lord deliver you. Don't be afraid or discouraged. Face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Three nations were coming against them, and they knew they couldn't win with their own strength. No strategy seemed enough to ensure victory. But when they turned to God, He spoke to them through His Word. They went into battle singing praises, and God gave them a great victory. They didn't need to use any weapons. God defeated their enemies for them. They didn't see God or His angels on the battlefield, but they trusted His word that promised victory. God told them, This battle is mine. Be still 
When you receive confirmation from God's Word, you can trust that He is fighting for you and working behind the scenes. Keep declaring those promises, make them a part of your daily life, and thank and praise Him for your deliverance. Praise based on God's Word can motivate Him to fight for you. If God has promised something, He will make it happen, but you must believe His Word. Imagine facing an army with just musical instruments and singing while your enemies have weapons. But the Israelites did it because they had strong faith in God's Word, and He came through for them. When God gives you instructions, you will only see His support if you act with faith. Rest assured that when you see these signs, God is fighting for you. Keep watching as we explore more signs. Number four, you experience unusual peace. Another sign that God is fighting for you is a deep sense of peace. Even when you don't know how things will turn out and others are worried, you remain calm. You may not understand how God will resolve your situation, but you trust that He is on your side. This peace is unexplainable, especially when everything around you seems chaotic. The Bible tells a story about Elisha, who was surrounded by an army. His servant was terrified and didn't understand why Elisha was so calm. Elisha remained peaceful because he trusted that God was fighting for them. In 2 Kings 6 verse 16, Elisha reassures his servant, don't be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. He prayed for God to open his servant's eyes to see the spiritual forces protecting them. Once his servant saw this, he also felt peace. Just like Jesus slept through a storm while his disciples worried, you too will find rest in God's ability to save. When God is fighting for you, you'll have peace even while facing your own battles. You might even comfort others who are struggling while you stay calm. This doesn't mean you're ignoring the situation. It means you're trusting God to handle it you'll remain calm and not try to fix things on your own. Instead of breaking down, you'll stay strong and glowing, knowing God is in control. Number five, you see God's judgment on your enemies. The fifth sign that God is fighting for you is seeing His judgment on your enemies. When God steps in, those who oppose you will face consequences. Their plans against you will start to backfire and their schemes will be exposed. You'll often find yourself ahead of their efforts and their weapons will not succeed. Psalm 27 verse one says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when your enemies try to attack? It is they who will stumble and fall. God usually gives your enemies chances to change their ways. He might warn them in various ways to stop their actions and repent. But when they refuse and their wrongdoings reach their limit, God will act against them. For example, Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites go and faced many plagues as a result. Despite the warnings, he pursued them and was ultimately defeated when he and his army drowned in the Red Sea. God will frustrate your enemy's plans as a sign that he is fighting for you. Their efforts against you will fail, and some might even come to you asking for forgiveness and wanting to know more about your faith. Others might quietly back down. Number six, you experience supernatural restoration. Another sign that God is fighting for you is when you see a supernatural restoration of what was lost. If you've missed out on opportunities or faced setbacks, God will restore what you lost. People who had forgotten about you will remember and reach out. Promises made to you will start to be fulfilled. Consider Joseph from the Bible. He interpreted dreams for the baker and the butler while in prison, asking them to remember him. The butler was restored to his position, but forgot Joseph. It wasn't until Pharaoh had a dream that the butler remembered Joseph and recommended him. This led to Joseph becoming a powerful leader in Egypt. God made up for all Joseph's years of suffering and betrayal by his brothers, wrongful accusations and imprisonment. When God fights for you, 
He will restore lost time and give you a fresh start. Things will begin to work in your favor and doors will open for breakthroughs. Joel 2, verse 25 to 26 says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. You will have plenty to eat and you will praise the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you. Your past struggles will be overshadowed by the blessings to come. Number seven, you experience divine favor. Divine favor is another sign that God is fighting for you. It means being chosen by God for special blessings, opportunities, and influence. You will find yourself in places and receiving offers you never thought possible. People who genuinely support you will come into your life and things will fall into place effortlessly. Noah found favor with God who revealed his plans and saved Noah and his family from the flood. Esther also received divine favor, becoming queen despite her modest background. Even though she had no connections or was an orphan, she became queen and later saved her people. Similarly, Nehemiah rebuilt Jerusalem's walls with the king's full support despite many obstacles. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. God's favor protects and shields you from negativity. He can use those who oppose you to help you, and he can turn mistakes into opportunities. People who once turned you away might now celebrate you, and your success will come without struggle. Divine favor will show that God is fighting for you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for always fighting for me, even when I can't see it. I acknowledge my weakness and rely on your strength. Thank you for protecting me from harm and providing for me. Please grant me victory over all challenges. Let nothing hinder my progress or prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. I declare that I am more than a conqueror and every plan against me is destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray for your judgment on those who oppose me and ask that you scatter any who come against me. Your word promises that you will raise a standard against my enemies. I ask for your protection, peace, and guidance. Help me not to worry or be troubled. Let your peace fill my heart and give me strength and courage. Restore any lost opportunities and favor me with access to important people and places. Let all things work for my good and turn any evil meant for me into blessings. Protect my life, health, family, and career. Thank you for hearing my prayers and granting me victories. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was a blessing to you. Please subscribe for more uplifting content and share it with friends. God bless you.